where a house caught fire overnight. We first started getting reports about this just before 3 a.m. It all happened on First Street, not far from McNutt Road. That's where we find Good Morning El Paso's Madeline Audley live with the very latest. Good morning. Mauricio, it's been hours since this fire broke out, and yet a multi-agency response is still continuing. Fire crews told me they were able to extinguish this fire right around 4 o'clock this morning. Now, as the sun starts to come up, you're getting a closer look at the damage that's been left behind. You can see through those windows, the majority of what's inside looks to be absolutely charged. Some of those charred, rather, some of those windows have been broken as well. Crews here on scene telling me this is likely a total loss. They are expecting to remain here throughout the morning, investigating exactly what what happened as well as cleaning up several of them still walking around this property a pretty similar scene to what we saw overnight take a look some of this video we saw some of the people who were inside the home at the time this fire broke out kind of gathering around the sidewalk as they watched crews battle those flames and the smoke filled the air I was able to speak with them and they told me that they started to smell smoke right around two o'clock this morning they had absolutely no idea what was going on but they were able to get out of the home safely call the fire department and get those crews here on the scene at around 3 a.m. They had the main fire extinguished right around 4 o'clock this morning. As the story does develop, we'll continue to update you both live on air and online at kbia.com. For now, reporting live in Sunland Park, Madeline Ottawa, good morning, El Paso.